Today, I'm in the wood yard. I got a new pair of boots. Actually, I got two new pairs. I'm gonna show them to you right now. Here we go. So, having a YouTube channel has its benefits. It also has its drawbacks with a lot of work, basically. But the benefits are is that people get a hold of me and say, hey, you want some stuff? And today is one of those days. Now, obviously, the big player in this game was my Easton made 22 MB that Andreessen sent me to use, which I'm just gonna start using pretty soon, as soon as the ground dries up enough where I can move wood. He sent me this to use and do videos, so that's what I'm gonna do. But I also have a lot of other small companies that send me product that they want me to try out, or they ask me if I want product. Now, some of you might think, oh, that must be just great. Well, no, it's not, because there's a lot of junk out there. I get stuff to just sent to me that has nothing to do with firewood that I'm not gonna talk about or show just because they send it to me. Some of it I just give away because it's stuff I'm never gonna use. Um, once in a while I get something that's useful. Um, some companies get a hold of me and they wanna do partnerships. I'm not really a partner kind of guy. Uh, it's gotta be something specific that I'm gonna like and want to use. And the company I'm gonna show you about, the boot company, um, contacted me a while back and said, hey, we've got boots, would you like to try them out? Well, I wear boots in the wood yard. I go through at least one pair of boots a year. Now, some of you are the kind of people that worship boots, which <laughs> if they protect your feet, that's a good thing, I guess. Some people like to get the really high dollar boots, the ones that are seven, $800 a pair and they get them resold. I'm not that guy. I like new things. I like a pair of boots about once a year, maybe every other year, get a brand new pair, wear them till they're wore out, get a new pair. Uh, to me, it's a disposable item, just like gloves or a pair of jeans or something. When they're wore out, throw them away, get a new pair. I'm not into restoring stuff so much. I like new stuff. That's just me. So, uh, this boot company, it's called High C, and I will show you the boots. Uh, they sent me two pair. I told them that I wear steel toe boots, and that's what I want pretty much. And uh, they seem pretty nice, so I'll show them to you right now. So there's the name, it's called High C or Hisia, but I would say High C. Here's the other box, High C work boots. So in the past, I have pretty much been a keen boot guy. I've gone through, I think my last four pairs have been Keens. Um, this is my old pair that I keep just for spares in case I get wet feet or something if I'm out here on a rainy day. But as you can see, they're pretty worn. They are, they got holes in them. Uh, where it's wearing through with the steel toe bends right here. Uh, they're pretty beat up. There's not a lot of tread left on them. They're wore right down to nubs pretty much. And I keep them, like I said, just in case I get wet feet when I'm here, I keep these into my business so that if I'm working outside and I've got these pair, which are the same exact style, and they're getting kind of worn too. They're starting to get some cracks, but I've had these for a little over a year now. And uh, I just noticed the other day when I was in the store looking at these, so these, these are starting to get worn, and I'll probably think about getting a new pair. And uh, the price that I paid for these was like 150 bucks. Um, it's a Keen Logan style. They're real lightweight. They're almost like a tennis shoe. Um, there's not a lot of weight to them, which I really like when it's warm enough outside. And I used to get the, uh, the real heavy-duty insulated ones. I've got a couple pairs of those, um, which are nice when it's really cold. Uh, but these I, I like wearing most of the time because they're just lighter weight and easier to walk in. Like I said, I paid about 150 bucks for these, but right now these are almost $200. I think they were like 190 something last time I looked. But the price of everything is going up, as you know. So when this company reached out to me, I right away went and looked to see what they had. And their boots look pretty nice. And I thought, well, we'll give them a try. So here we go. So here's the box. It was sent to me right from Amazon. Um, I opened it, just took a peek at it just a little while ago. They come in this nice little sock thing here. I don't know, this is like to protect it, I guess. It is a leather boot. It's reinforced in the heel. It is steel toe. It doesn't have a very aggressive uh, tread, um, but it is a good year welted um, bottom. Uh, tread, sole, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they are very padded, it looks like, on the inside. They're very nice and thick, so I like that. First impression is the laces are nice and heavy duty. Um, I like the double speed hooks on the top. That's what I like for my boots, because uh, I like them to be not so high. Um, yeah, they look really nice and padded, so I'm pretty sure I'll make these dirty and scuffed up pretty fast. Now, 
I looked online at these to see what the, the reviews were and everything, because I had never really heard of the brand before. And apparently there's a lot of Chinese manufacturers that are making these, and that's where these are made. Um, a lot of styles very similar to this. And Keen actually makes a style just like this. And uh, they're $189. This pair you can get on Amazon for like 65 or 70 bucks. So I don't know, you know, if they're a knockoff or whatever, but they seem to be okay. I'll give them a try. But for what the price is, they don't need to last forever. I mean, if I get a year out of them, I'd be perfectly happy. Uh, the reviews were very good on these boots. All the reviews were four and five stars. They ranked four and a half overall on average. 70% of the reviews were five stars, 20% were four stars, and then there was a few other ones. And I, I always look at the one star and two star reviews, which are only were one or two. And one of the guys said that he got them and there was a little scuff on the toe. So he gave it a one star. The, the second I take it out of a box, it's gonna get a scuff, so whatever. Uh, so I don't really take much uh, stock in people like that, people that are, you know, weenies and just whiners about everything. Matter of fact, I should just scratch it right now and get it over with. But I'm going to put them on, give them a try and walk around with them and see what I think of them. They, they, they seem pretty nice. They're not so heavy, but it is a steel toe, uh, nice flexible sole. They do have uh, all the usual boot construction that I see everybody else doing. They have the steel shank on the inside and uh, We'll give them a try. And they did send me two pairs. I'll show you the other pair in just a bit. So now here it says that this boot is steel toe, uh, electrical hazard resistant, water resistant, slip resistant. So pretty much what you'd want in a pair of boots, I guess. Here's the logo on the back. And uh, these are 11 and a half, which I normally would wear like a size 11. But I, am, I, I get 11 and a half. Um, most of the time with my boots because I like to wear two pair of heavy socks and I like a little bit of room in my toe um, but so I guess I normally would get it these are my old ones are 11 and a half these uh, old uh, Keens and the ones I got in right now are also Keens that are 11 and a half um, but if I was to just wear one pair of socks I'd wear an 11 but I like to have a little bit extra room so I can put the extra sock in now this is really nice and padded when I look at it on the inside all the way around, which is nice because I had a pair of boots one time that was sharper on the edge here, didn't have any padding, and they actually cut the back of my uh, Achilles tendon. It's got a removable pad on the inside, which is awesome. Well, that's a really nice thick one. I like that because I like to take these out every day, and what I do is I tip my boots over on the side, either out in the sun or in the wind, or a lot of times I put them by uh, uh, air register in my house, especially in the winter time, so it's running, and I put them up against it to dry them out every day. Uh, I do that because I like to get all the moisture out because otherwise you start to get stank feet. Uh, you start getting that mildewy, musty, gym room smelling, you know, like a locker room kind of smell that people that have that nasty smell and you can smell it and you wonder what the heck is wrong. It's usually their, their feet, it's usually their boots. So I'm going to put these on right now and we'll uh, give them a try. But the laces seem nice and heavy duty like that because I've had some wimpy laces on some boots. Now I've tried pretty much every kind of pair of boots there are. I've had Red Wings and they're nice. I've had uh, Carolinas, they're very nice. I've had, geez, I don't know, Wolverines. I've had... Boy, I, I can't think of all the name brands. I've tried them. They all are fine. They all work. Um, what I like about these that I can tell you so far is they were free. So that's a good thing. But if I had to buy these, I actually think I would consider them. The only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed on is the tread. I like more an aggressive tread that's just some actual knobbies on the bottom. Um, we'll see how these work. This is actually kind of a sticky rubber though. So maybe this is going to be just fine. I don't know. Um, but I like a little more aggressive tread. The bad thing about an aggressive tread is if you're in the mud and muck, everything comes into the house and it's fallen out and as it dries you get chunks of, of, of dirt everywhere. We'll give these a try. But if I was to buy these, which I would for the price, I mean for 65, 70 bucks, and if I can get a year out of them, that's a pretty good deal. Like I said, the Keens in the same style, same look, same everything, were almost 200 bucks. So there's that. I think a lot of times people get stuck on brand names 
which is okay if it's something that's really good and you really like. Um, but a lot of times you are paying for the name. That's just the way it is, especially the, uh, the really, really well-known names. You're, a lot of what you're paying for is the brand, the actual name of the product, and not necessarily the, the higher quality. Sometimes, yes, you do get higher quality. So we're gonna give these a try. I'll put them on right now. Okay, so here they are. Out with the old, in with the new. Yeah, they grip really good on, when I stand on the side of a log, I mean, they grip really good. See if that lasts, but yeah, that's, I'm very impressed. It's like a sticky rubber almost. We'll see how long it lasts. Maybe they wear down more because of that, but, but yeah, they stick really good. First impressions, they're quite a bit stiffer than the Keens around the ankle. The leather is, is much more supportive on the ankle. The, these Keens are not leather, it's more of a rubber. They're very flexible, so it's more like a tennis shoe. Um, but these are stiffer around the ankle. And I do the double wrap around, as you can see, and I tie a knot in the front. I never have my laces come untied that way. That's how I've always done it. I like the longer laces, so it makes it easier to do that. In my Keens, I've replaced the laces with longer laces so that I could do that. These include... Now, the first thing when I do, when I put my, put my feet in, very soft, very comfortable. I like it right away. But... The only thing that I'd have to say that I complain about is that these are 11 and a halfs and they feel like 12s. They're bigger. Um, and I've got two pair of socks on. I could go to three pair of socks to fill it out because I can, my toe is like right about in here. And it's hard to tell with a steel toe, but yeah, I'd say my toe is right, right about there. They're definitely bigger than the Keens. So about a half size bigger than what would be normal for me. So I'm going to have to tell them I need some 11s to give them a try. Now these come in black, which is what these are. They also come in uh, brown and a tan, I think. Um, so there you go. And I'll show you the other pair that I just got. Okay, so these are the leather ones I just got, the work boots, steel toe. And then they sent me this other box. And I told them that, you know, I do work outside in the rain and mud. So they sent me a pair of neoprene... Um, knee boots or ankle boots. These are not steel toe, I wonder why. I know they make a steel toe one. They should have sent me steel toe because I prefer steel toe. Um, yeah, these seem very, very, very similar to muck boots. Uh, I've got uh, an old pair of muck boots. This is very similar, almost exact actually. And if you know anything about muck boots, they don't give them away. You can get this pair of boots, I think, for 50 bucks, something like that. So quite a bit cheaper in muck boots, the same style, just like this. You're going to pay about 150 to 200 So I'll try these on and give them, give them a little whirl and see what happens. So I just took these out of the box. I got both uh, of the right and left out of the box. And I noticed in the bottom of the box, there is a little phone case. A little phone case here I'll open up. This is a little sealable bag to put your phone in apparently let's just see how this works pull this apart maybe maybe if you're hercules i can't oh there we go you just flip this open and then what do you do it's open open sesame nothing's happening oh you got to pull this apart oh look at that yeah so it's a little plastic uh phone case Put your phone in. I just happen to have my phone in my pocket. This is my phone. The snot is beard out of it. I got an otter box on it. It's full of sawdust, which I'm sure a lot of you have too. And let's see. So this I would only use, I guess, if I was maybe canoeing or something. Look at that. And it just happens to fit my phone exactly. Nice. I have an old iPhone. It's like a six or a seven. I don't know what it is. It works. You close it. Let's just see here. Close it and 
Can you still use the screen? Yes, you can. You can actually still use the screen. Sweet. Look at that, the screen still works, even through this plastic if you had to. So yeah, if you were out in the rain, this would be kind of handy. Nice. I don't know if I'll use it too much, but it's a nice little bonus item. Okay, now I'll put the boots on. So something I should mention about tying my boots in the front like I do in knots. Basically, I do three, just the three square knots. I do three, three times. Two would do it, but once in a while, if you just do two, they'll come apart. The reason I tie them in knots is I don't want loops hanging here because I'm in the woods so much, I don't want branches grabbing because if you're walking in the woods and you've got loops hanging, you're going to hook them. I know a lot of people that work in the forestry will have a style of boots that will have a covering so their laces don't get hooked on brush either. Um, but yeah, I always tie them, and, tie them in a knot in the front and uh, no loops other than the loops that are on here. But I can tell as these get broken, they might get even bigger because it is leather. Uh, so I might have to get an 11 and uh, have them fit better and just wear three pair of socks with this pair. So now we're going to slide on the uh, the neoprene knee boots. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if I can get my pants tucked in there. Oh yeah, these are a little big also. These are 11 and a half, and I have two pairs of socks, and I could go three three pairs for sure. And uh, so they're slightly big, but I'd rather have them be just a little bit big than too small because too small is no good for anybody you're uncomfortable with them and your feet get sore and get cold faster if they're tight so let's see what these feel like oh yeah they're lightweight they're boots they're not super insulated they're slightly insulated i don't know what it said on there it's got like a hard hard shell on there so it's not a it's not a steel toe but I think you could drop a chunk of wood on here. I'll go grab a chunk and see what it feels like. Okay, I'm back with a chunk of wood. I'm gonna drop it from about a foot and see what happens. Oh, look at that, didn't hurt at all. Bounced right off. I think, yeah, that's actually pretty darn hard. I mean, if you really slammed it, because that's my main concern is having a chunk of wood fall on it. A log wouldn't even hurt that much. Yeah, bounces right off. So yeah, it's got quite a bit of toe support. So yeah, I'd, I'd actually wear these, I think, on rainy days. And that's the reason why I told them I work outside in the rain and they said, you know, pick out two pairs. And I said, well, a pair of steel toe work boots like this would be good. So I said, something like that would be fine. And then they just sent me these knee boots. Um, but yeah, pretty nice. Man, my foot does slide around just a little bit, but that's okay. I can just put another pair of socks on. These will work. So yeah. Because I'm not the kind of guy that's going to give up on a rainy day. Um, here's the brand name, the H-I-S-E-A, high C. And uh, if it's raining out, I can still work. I like the, the pole they've got in the back to pull them on, but they go on and off real nice. So, very cool. Apparently, they make waders, they make hip boots, they make kids' boots, wife's and the waist boots, <laughs> girls boots, ladies boots. So they make all different kinds, all different colors. So you can check them out if you want. I'm not getting paid for doing this. They just sent me the boots and I said I'd give them a try. So there they are. So maybe I'll just have to start wearing these if they keep sending me boots. So there you go. Icy boots. I did a little trouncing around there, shot a few clips for you to see. Uh, the waterproof ones work great. I went and jumped around in the creek a little bit, walked through some soggy areas. They seem real nice. I think I'll be wearing those. I think I'll be wearing the uh, new steel toes that they sent me. And you know, for the price for what uh, you can get a pair of these for, 65 bucks for the, the steel toe leather boots, and I think these are even cheaper. Um, you can get a lot of pairs of these for what it would cost to buy a pair of, say, 
Irish Setters or Red Wings or Carolinas, you know, the boots that are, you know, three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars if you go all the way up to the whites. I think the white's a brand you get resold, whatever. I would just soon have a new pair. <laughs> um, I don't like restoring my car. I like to buy a new one. And uh, I guess I'm like that with boots and clothes too. Once it's wore out, I want a new one or a new pair. And uh, I think they're going to work really well. So I will do a review after a month or so. Now, if you like videos like this, I've got about 700 videos on my channel you can watch. And I do a new video every morning. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Chris. And uh, every day I have a new video at 5.30 a.m. Central Time for you to watch. And it's always something about wood, firewood related. And uh, between now and tomorrow, when you come back, I know you're going to get outside, get cutting. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.